Welcome to today's discussion on a very intense and unusual event that took place aboard an American Airlines flight. This incident involves a passenger who was restrained with duct tape after becoming extremely disruptive. This situation has raised numerous questions about airline safety protocols, mental health considerations, and the legal consequences following such actions. In July 2021, on a flight from Dallas to Charlotte, a passenger named Heather Wells exhibited highly erratic behavior. About an hour into the flight, after consuming alcohol, she attempted to open the cabin door, which prompted an urgent response from the flight crew and fellow passengers. Her actions included verbal and physical assaults against those trying to restrain her. The scene escalated quickly, with Wells reportedly running toward the front of the plane, then dropping to her knees, and talking incoherently. She then became aggressive toward a flight attendant, threatening harm and attempting to reach the cabin door again. This behavior led to her being physically restrained by flight attendants and a passenger, involving duct tape and flex cuffs to secure her to her seat. Footage of the incident captured by passengers went viral on social media, notably on TikTok, where users expressed shock and concern over the intense situation. The video showed Wells duct taped to her seat, shouting, as other passengers exited the plane, with flight attendants managing the situation calmly. The legal repercussions for Ms. Wells were severe. The FAA fined her a record $81,950 for her actions, citing multiple violations of federal aviation regulations. These fines were broken down as follows, $45,000 for violent behavior towards crew and passengers, $27,950 for attempting to open the cabin door, and $9,000 for interfering with the crew. American Airlines and the FAA have strict policies regarding passenger behavior, which have become stricter in recent years due to a rise in unruly passenger incidents. These policies are part of a broader zero-tolerance approach aimed at ensuring the safety and security of all passengers and crew aboard flights. Following the incident, Ms. Wells was taken into custody and later hospitalized for observation. She issued a public apology, stating that she was experiencing mental health issues and feared for her life at the time, despite no actual external threat. This statement brings to light the complex interplay between airline safety and passenger mental health. In response to this and similar incidents, the FAA has reported a significant drop in unruly passenger cases from nearly 6,000 in 2021 to 2,075 in 2023. This data suggests that the stricter penalties and public awareness may be effective in reducing such disturbances. This statistic indicates a significant improvement in airline passenger behavior, potentially as a result of increased penalties and public campaigns aimed at raising awareness about the consequences of such disruptions. These measures seem to be effective deterrents that help maintain order and safety on flights. As we consider the effects of these policies, it's important to delve into the specifics of how such changes in regulations have altered passenger behavior. The FAA's adoption of a zero-tolerance policy towards unruly passengers has clearly communicated the serious legal and financial repercussions that can follow disruptive incidents. This might be seen as a critical step towards ensuring that passengers think twice before engaging in unacceptable behavior. Moreover, the role of the crew in these situations cannot be overstated. Flight attendants are often the first line of defense against potential disruptions. Their training includes techniques for de-escalating tense situations, which are crucial when passengers become disruptive. The rigorous training programs ensure that they can handle a wide range of scenarios with professionalism and composure. Public reactions to these incidents, often amplified by social media, have also played a key role in shaping perceptions and behaviors. When passengers see the real-time consequences of unruly behavior, such as heavy fines and legal actions, it reinforces the seriousness of the matter. Social media not only spreads awareness but also creates a public discourse around acceptable conduct, which can influence passenger behavior. The psychological impact on other passengers and crew during such incidents is also a significant concern. Witnessing or being involved in a high-tension incident can be traumatic. 
This underscores the importance of handling these situations with the utmost care and professionalism to minimize the emotional distress caused to everyone on board. In light of these considerations, airlines and regulatory bodies continue to refine their strategies for dealing with unruly passengers. This includes better training for crew, more effective communication of policies, and a continuous evaluation of the effectiveness of these measures. Now, let's consider some scenarios and questions that might arise from this topic. What specific changes in policy have been most effective in reducing unruly behavior on flights? How do airlines support crew members after they deal with highly stressful situations involving unruly passengers? What are some psychological strategies that can be employed to calm a disruptive passenger without escalating the situation? How can passengers contribute to a safer and more pleasant flight experience for everyone? What are the global implications of these policies? Are other countries adopting similar measures? How do privacy concerns intersect with the need for security and order on flights? What role does alcohol play in these incidents, and should there be stricter regulations regarding its sale and consumption on flights? What legal protections do passengers have if they feel they were unfairly restrained or accused of being unruly? Are there technological solutions that could help manage or prevent these situations more effectively? How do these incidents affect the public's perception of airline safety and professionalism? In answering these questions, we can deepen our understanding of the dynamics at play in managing flight safety and passenger behavior. For instance, 1. Enhanced penalties and clear communication have proven effective. Training that empowers crew to handle situations confidently is also vital. 2. Support can range from psychological counseling to legal assistance, ensuring that crew members feel valued and protected. 3. Techniques include speaking calmly, maintaining eye contact, and showing empathy, which can help de-escalate tensions. 4. Passengers can help by staying calm, following crew instructions, and being aware of their alcohol intake. 5. Many countries look to the FAA as a model for aviation safety regulations, adopting similar strategies in response to global trends. 6. Balancing safety with privacy is challenging, but transparency in policies can help maintain passenger trust. 7. Limiting alcohol consumption could be a preventive measure, though it requires balancing business interests with safety. 8. Passengers have rights to fair treatment, and regulations ensure that any action taken against them is justified and documented. 9. Technology like enhanced monitoring systems and AI-driven behavior analysis could offer new ways to prevent incidents. 10. While incidents can negatively impact perceptions, effective handling and resolution can actually enhance trust in airline safety and crew professionalism. These insights and answers help us navigate the complexities of maintaining safety and ensuring a pleasant travel experience for all airline passengers.